So the point is here? Based on using your intent. So you're supposed to think of something, we were thinking of something mysterious, and it brought us here. Yeah. I'm really proud of writing that stuff. Holy dude. Look at that. What? Oh, what is that? Looks like a, it's a huge statue. I don't know what the hell that is. Where are we? Oh, what is this place? I mean, this could get a little weird playing Random Nautica out here. You got something? I think so. Anomaly. I'm just gonna try one point. Yeah. Think of something. Think, think. Thinking. Uh, I know what I'm thinking. I know what I'm thinking too. All right. What are you thinking? You got the point already? What are you thinking? Something mysterious. Something mysterious. Actually, that's good. I want to think of something mysterious too. Something mysterious. All right, we got it. We got the point. Nice. There we go. Let me just copy that. Hopefully it takes us like into town, into Porta Plata, and yeah, not into the villages. Like, <laughs> I don't want to die out here. Yeah, I don't want to like end up walking into some random person's right, home. Tasting. It's taking us to some random little beach for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go there. Cool. Nine minutes away. I'm down for a beach. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Side. Yeah. So All for right. those of you who are not familiar with the Random Auto Cab. Um, basically uses your intention to bring you to places that are related to that. How far is this place? Uh, it's eight minutes away. Cool. I think we might Adult actually be... resort? Yeah. Nice. I think we're like the first people to actually do this in the Caribbean. We are. Definitely in the Dominican. Probably the whole Caribbean. This is cool. Wait, it's too late. Look at these guys over here. <laughs> it's kind of surprising when we come to like a red light because there's so few of them here. Yeah, but those motorcycles don't stop at them. They no. just keep going. We're like, f that, we're going. We don't got time for that. So where are we right now? Is this Porta Plata? Uh, Playa Dorada. Oh, okay. So we're like just outside of it then. Yeah. In 300 meters, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Avenida Luis Ginebra. So we're close. Yeah, we're getting deeper into the town. It's kind of cool because, like, you know, my, my fans here have seen, you know, us randonautic or randonautic hunting or whatever in Canada all the time. Mm -hmm. It's always the same, like, forests and stuff. But it's really cool to see how, how different it is here. You have different buildings, different cars, different people. Definitely the sun, the beach. It's gorgeous out here. You here don't like to stop. Stop? What's stop? There's the ocean. In 400 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Excuse me, sir. We're coming through. Wow, look at that beach down there. Dude, that's so beautiful. That's awesome. Damn. Okay, so it's bringing us here for a reason. Yeah. I'm like, you know, Mar. You see anything mysterious? Uh, no, it's gonna be on the right. The point is just dead ahead on the right. Right on the actual water? Yeah. It's you just, have arrived. For some reason, it says daughter store. What? Yeah, like why is it bringing us here? And where do we park? Uh, okay, look, that's mysterious. Those people are dancing. Show them. <laughs> oh, that's a destroyed truck. We're right over the point now. So we're right about here? I think we can park on that yeah, side. Yeah, we can park on that side, it looks like. I'm just gonna have to pull a U turn. You guys probably don't get the joke, but we have a, a set number of U-turns <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> yeah, we overshot our point by a little bit. Okay. So the point is here? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I don't really see anything. Yeah. This is cool, we're like the first ones to ever do this, like in the Dominican at least, or the Caribbean at the very least. So if you guys haven't followed along, 
Maybe you've been missing the last, uh, oh, this is really cool actually. Maybe you've been missing the last few videos that we've done on the Randonautica. It's basically this app that literally takes you to like random locations based on using your intent. So you're supposed to think of something. We were thinking of something mysterious and it brought us here. Check that out. That's awesome. That is really, really cool over there. Yeah, so we're gonna go down here a little bit more. See if we can uh, find anything specific that might be related to what it is that we were thinking of. Oh, wow. This is so cool. <laughs> There's a bunch of people swimming over there. So, Mo just found a cave. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, that, that's a bit mysterious. Right? I know, this is crazy. Mine's all this garbage over here? Yeah. A little too much garbage. This thing's amazing. Oh, Red Nautica, you did good on this one. Yeah. I'm really proud of Red Nautica. Holy sh dude. Look at that. What? Oh, what is that? Looks like a statue of some sort. Oh, something mysterious. Yeah. That's it right there. What is that? Look at that over there. I have what no idea. We gotta go there. Yeah, let's go. How the f did we get there? I have no idea. It looks like a giant statue. I'm... What? Kind of wanna, kind of wanna go for a swim though. <laughs> yeah, me too. You might not be able to see these guys, but over there, there's an island. Yeah, there's literally okay. like. Where is it? Looks it looks like these are giant statues. Let's go take a look at that. Is. That's cool. Yeah, this is cool. So, Randonautica brought us to this cave and beach and random statue that's down there. That is very interesting. It's kind of like the epitome of mystery right there. Man, this spot is uh, definitely a lot cleaner than where we were yesterday. And the waves, like there's no waves in this one spot because all like the rocks and stuff break the waves before they actually come in. Huh? What? Well, look at how annoying this is. But, oh my god. The plastic in the water. Wow. So dirty. That's ridiculous, man. You guys can't be doing that to the ocean, man. Like This is actually really cool. I can't believe we found this. Not really gonna go. I wonder if it like goes deeper. Does it go further in? Yeah. Does it go like further in? No, I went all the way in. Yeah? No, but like that way too? So we come up uh, a little further to see whatever the heck that thing is on the island there. You can see it from here. It's a huge statue. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, we gotta cross, make sure we don't get hit. Oh <laughs> What? That's Neptune. Neptune? Lot of the seas. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh check that out. That's so cool. Oh, look at this beautiful beach though. So we were literally just like down there moments ago, like past there. And then we've come here. I mean, it's not the exact point of where we were. I guess the mysterious part was the cave. Happy it actually worked on the first try. That was actually pretty cool. Check that out. Out of the sea. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, you can see like the the pitchfork thing. I don't know what yeah, you call it, but yeah. Or his trident. Yeah, the trident. trident. That's what it's called. I'm gonna get my long lens and uh, yeah. zoom in on it. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. I'm gonna run back to the car and grab my pen. So what? You're uh, you're swimming over there. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, that's definitely Neptune, though. Yeah, as you guys can see, I got a Neptune over there. So I hope you guys are really enjoying these uh, adventures in the Dominican Republic. I know it's a little bit different from the usual haunted and abandoned stuff. I think we're gonna probably end up going to like this abandoned resort later on. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to do some adventuring. We wanted to see if the Brandon Nautica app will actually work 
here in the Dominican Republic, and so far so good. So that's actually pretty cool. Mo's actually uh, on his way, he's like heading down to the beach. Somebody's actually showing him the best way to actually swim to that island with Poseidon. So we'll see if he actually manages to get there. I'm kind of stuck here watching all the stuff, so I'm not going to actually be swimming there. But uh, yeah, we'll try and continue on this adventure. We're going to go and see probably a couple more other really, really interesting things. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on, don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. Let's continue on today's adventure. I'm having a lot of fun here in the Dominican Republic. It has been literally probably almost three years now since I've been here. Not much has changed. The country is still beautiful. A lot of you probably don't know the reason why we're here um, is because Mo is actually buying his dream summer home. He's always dreamed about it. And that's something I want to actually do for myself one day. It'll probably be a while until I get there, but we'll do it. Guys, check out how beautiful the friggin' water is over here. Oh my god. Oh, it's so warm and calm and clear. Like, you can literally see everything. Beautiful. We're still here at the beach. I'm actually waiting. Mo is pretty much at the island. I saw him earlier. I don't know where the hell he went, though. He's there somewhere. I don't know. That is really clear. There's a lot of rock in this area, so you do have to be very careful. I was actually speaking with a gentleman, he's originally from uh, Poland and he lives here now. And I just literally stepped on a goddamn rock. That kind of hurt. Yeah, he was telling me uh, all about how he's been living here for several years, which is really cool. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see him, because um, I have my wide angle on. I'm zoomed all the way in right now. But you can see him there. He's on the island, he made it. I don't know if you guys can see him there kind of hard for me to see with the sun, but he's there. He made it to the island. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I thought he was going to go all the way up to the statue. For some reason, he's just like standing there. Oh, the sand is hot. It's hot. Very, very hot. All right, made it to another beach. So yeah, continuing on from uh, earlier, we decided to say screw the rain in Nautica. I mean, look how beautiful this water is. It's nice and clear. It's got a lot of seashells in it, but it's nice and soft. So we're gonna chill out here for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys later. Well, looks like this uh, vacation's getting a little rained out. So we are in the middle of a tropical storm. Isaias, I think they named it. 